Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. In this session, we are going to talk about different types of jobs and roles and responsibilities of these jobs in supply chain management we are going to discuss. We talked about cloud, different cloud companies. What is cloud? What is Oracle Cloud? What is Fission Applications? What is Fission Applications Supply Chain Management? Okay, so if any client says that I want to use supply chain management, for example, let's say Heritage, Heritage Foods, Private Limited. So what is their business? They are in the retail list. What is their business? Every day they are going to purchase the goods from the suppliers and store that materials in the stores, sell those products to the customers. That is their business. Let's say they have 400 branches. In every branch, they have 20 employees. It's total 8,000 employees. All these 8,000 employees, every day they'll come to office. And the moment when they come to office, they log into the applications. And they are going to enter the information, whatever they receive into the store. And they are entering the information, whatever they are selling the items to the customer. Okay, day-to-day -day complete transactions. Every day, some lakhs of transactions they are going to enter from all the 400 branches. This is a small client which I have explained here. Now, this client, so far, they are using their own servers, nothing but on-premises. They are using their own servers so far, last 15 years. Now, in 2023, they decided to go for cloud. In that, they decided to use Oracle Cloud. In that, they decided to use Oracle Fusion applications. In that, they have decided to use supply chain management. They don't want to use finance or some other. They say, I want to use only supply chain management. In that also, if client says that I want to use only procurement or only order management, maybe they are very much flexible with uh, another software or another application which is having procurement uh, process, they can go ahead with that. Right, they can go for using that. And for the sales, they can go for use our fusion applications. So yes, that, there is obviously the clients will always look for the flexibility. So they can use only the partial part of supply chain management, not the entire suit. Okay, so if the client has uh, decided, then what client will do is they'll go to Oracle and they'll get the subscription. They'll meet Oracle Corporation and they'll call it as a subscription. Generally, if it is on-premises, we'll call it as a license. We'll get the license in software and install in our server. But if it is cloud, we call it as a subscription. Of course, license also we can call, nothing, uh, nothing worry, but we can say subscription is there. It means you got a license. Okay, Heritage has got subscribed to Oracle Corporation and they decided to use all the supply chain management module. For that, they'll make the payment. Whatever the license cost is there depends on the number of users they wanted to log in to the application day to day. They'll use this particular uh, payment and price list. After that, then Heritage wants to, when, when Heritage receives this software, the software will be empty. No supplier, no customer, no item, no sales setups, no procurement setups, nothing. Only the fresh instance will be there. Then now Heritage has to communicate with the either Oracle or Oracle partners. Now Heritage Company will communicate with either Oracle or Oracle partners. For example, TCS is there, Wipro is there, Enforces is there, and uh, Tech Mahindra is there. Like this, there are some thousands of partners across the world for Oracle. So it's up to the client, uh, client uh, decision. They can give this project either to Oracle or they can give it to Oracle partners. Let's say TCS has got this project due to their brand or they have already relation or bidding cost or delivery immediately or quality, whatever the reason, yeah, TCS has decided. And of course, client also is okay. Both are going ahead with this. So Heritage has given this project to the TCS. So who will provide the software? Oracle will provide. But who will implement this? TCS is going to do the implementation. In the software, if there is any issues, Oracle will give the support. In the implementation, if there are any issues, TCS has to do the support. 
that's how it will work once tcs get project what tcs will do they have to recruit the consultants right they will be recruiting two types of consultants one is functional another one is technical consultant so in the cloud erps there will be two types of consultants one is functional another one is technical earlier in on premises there was a dba but nowadays dba is not there because uh, cloud Everything parent company will take care. Your cloud company will take care about all these options. Okay. So there will be two types of uh, jobs. One is functional, another one is technical job. So what functional consultant will do? Functional consultant will do the setups, configurations, testing, delivery, training to the customers. You must train your client employees. Otherwise, they are non-IT employees. They will not be clear in the initial stage how to raise their request how to create sales order, how to book the order, how to cancel the order, how to cancel the tax. Sometimes they might have created purchase order. It is in process. They are not clear when it will be approved. They wanted to reassign this to someone else. Vacation rules. This is all we have to train them. That's the job of functional consultant. Majorly setups implementation. And of course, in the live, in case if the clients are using the application, means client employees are using the application day to day, in case if they get any error, obviously they'll raise a request, then we are supposed to resolve those issues. That's what we call it as a support projects, receiving the tickets from the customers and resolve those issues and update and again prepare a document for that. And also we have to give the solution for that uh, solution script with different test cases. Okay. So if they ask us, uh, what is your role as a functional consultant in supply chain management? We have to say that I'm working as functional consultant in supply chain management to go for an implementation of procurement model, inventory order management, doing all the setups, data migration, testing, and also deliver to the client, integrate, interact with the clients and gather the information, prepare a documents and get the approval from the client. And after that, implement and deliver it. This is what I am doing it. It is in the project. That's what functional zero coding. It's a zero coding, purely setups. But there will be a syllabus uh, more and we have to spend time, understand that good communication is expected and we have to prepare, then we'll get 100% success. Then what is technical guy will do? Technical guys are going to do the development of reports, customization of reports, uh, as well as data loading, data extractions and integrations, personalization, customizations, development. These all technical people will be doing. So they need SQL. It's mandatory. They need PLS skill. It's mandatory. They have to write the programs. Having some basic knowledge about the APIs to integrate, and they have to learn the tools, BI tool, OTBI tool, and a BDA tool, spreadsheet data loader, OACS integration tool. This, this is all tools uh, technical developers has to learn and start working on the objects. Okay, here 100% coding. SQL is mandatory, PLS skill is mandatory. So we are supposed to write all this in this technical area. So there will be two types of jobs. One is functional, another one is uh, technical. So once you enter as a functional and work for three to four years, once you say that I'm comfort, I'm good in functional, I want to upgrade my skills as a technical also after three, four years, you can start learning technical also. It works. Technical people also after five, six years, if they want to migrate their you know, domain to the functional, yes, they can learn the functional and they can shift. They can call it as a techno functional. It's a senior level. They can do that. But in the initial stage, there will be only two technical and particular one is a functional okay so this particular course what we are going to offer is purely functional it's going to be 100 percent functional consultant 100 percent end-to-end setups we are going to perform okay and in this functionally uh, zero coding if you are good in english then you are eligible for this having a good graduation okay so as a functional consultant we'll be performing the setups and we are going to test the application and we are preparing documents and deliver this to the client. This is what we are going to perform as a functional consultant in this. Okay, It depends on the number of modules, of course. The modules will be at least three modules are required. When we are going to say that I'm a functional consultant, uh, definitely uh, three modules are expected in the functional point of view. That is how it will be here. It is. Okay. 
So these are the two different types of jobs we will find as a functional consultant. Another one is a technical consultant in supply chain. Not only in supply chain, any domain, finance, HCM, CRM, ORC, any yeah. other. We will find two things. One is functional, another one is a technical. Two different types of jobs we will find in supply chain management ERP application. Thank you.